Hello practice challengers, welcome to day eight. You are officially over the halfway hump of the 14 day practice challenge. Congratulations, this is so exciting. I want to talk a little bit about danceability before you head to your videos and what the significance of danceability is and how we can really approach making our music more danceable um, in a very approachable way. And I think the first thing that we need to do, and I didn't say this in any of the actual videos for beginner, intermediate, or advanced, so I'm, I'm telling you now, get on the dance floor. So if you want to know how to make your playing more danceable, how to find that groove, how to lighten your playing so that you're making the beat really obvious for the dancer and they just get to enjoy themselves, they don't have to think about what their steps are, you need to know how to dance. You do not need to be a good dancer. I am a terrible dancer, but I love to dance. And this, the really key fundamental part is for you to get on the dance floor. Go find a community dance, dance for at least half of it before you get your fiddle and go on the stage. So that is crucial because if you don't know what is important for a dancer to feel on the dance floor, it is almost impossible to provide it as a musician. Our job as musicians is to make the beat and the rhythm so obvious for dancers that they just get to feel their way through the music and they don't have to stand on the dance floor thinking to themselves, one, two, three, one, two, three, or jiggity, 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 you know, and I'm moving one, two, three, and one, two, three. Our job is to say, here's the beat, here's the rhythm, the music feels so good, just go out and do your thing. So. Please get on the dance floor, experience it for yourself so that you know what it's all about. Um, and then if you can, if there's a group around you that has regular dances, get out to a regular dance a couple times a month. I used to play Friday and Saturdays every week for years. Um, and, and that's how I learned how to play for dances and that's how I learned how to dance. So if you're able to kind of find a routine in that, it's going to change your, your playing hundred percent. The other thing to think about is if you're a contest fiddler, 25% of your mark is judged on how danceable your playing is. So rhythm, danceability, tempo, whether or not you speed up halfway through your reel or if you can keep your tempo is absolutely fundamental to being a really, really good player. All right, so head on over to your videos. Um, I break down the waltz, jig, march for the um, 100 pipers, and then the real tempo and syncopation for catharsis. So go find your videos. I hope you guys have a great, great day eight practice day. Um, I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you feel. And to the advanced players, I apologize. I rambled and that video is about 12 minutes long. So forgive me. But if you make your way through it, you're more than done your practice. So let me know how it goes. I'm looking for some feedback and I'm looking to hear what you guys find challenging, what you guys felt you improved on, and let's see how we're doing halfway through this challenge. Have a great day.